presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. <laughs> Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week and a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover, and every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 183, Nasdaq's up 84, SP's up 28, gold contract down 1360 at 1857 an ounce. You got silver up 18 cents, twenty-two dollars twenty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck forty-one hundred and nineteen dollars ninety-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up fourteen ticks, trading one eighteen twelve. The thirty-year up a full point, plus seven ticks at one thirty-seven twenty-eight. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading down one twenty-seven, one hundred two three ten. Euro one hundred seven. Yen 132.55 and the British pound at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is you get a rejection of lower price, you're going to have lighter volume. So let's just go through this whole scenario you know, we're going sideways for five days. Yesterday was a big day. The reason it was yesterday was a big day is this. You can see that, you know, you bottom line, you had got over the highs of Friday. Friday had 71 million shares. Today, what you had, yesterday had 57 million. And you gave it up on price. When that happens, guess what? You're going to try to go downtown. What do we do this morning? We try to go downtown. What happens? It rejects lower price, and you're going to have lighter volume. When that's set up, folks, Next move is going to be going after the swing high inside of the SPY at 417.44. And we'll see how that shakes out, man. You know, my, my take is that, you know, we're going to like 3,500 in the S&P, but uh, the cash S&P. But the bottom line is that right now, this thing wants to go charge this 417 once again. And we'll see what it shakes out. Now, what you want to be really, what you want to be watching is this. If, in fact, this is going to be a, a bigger counter trend bounce well what you want to be watching is that okay how does it take out the swing if it takes it out with volume you get yourself an abc structure up that's the bottom line and, and it would be a big abc structure up by the way okay it'd be a 37a to b which uh which is a big number so keep your eye on it man ndx 100 same type of setup you take a look at the ndx what do you have with the ndx ndx out here three q's Bottom line, same type of setup. Yesterday, you failed on price and volume. You got up to the price point of 312. You closed out at 305. You had volume of 51 million versus 60 on Friday. What do we do today? Just the opposite. Today, the bottom line, we have no sellers. We got down to the price point of uh, 302, 668. That was testing the 302.40. 
you get if 36 million shares, well, you're going into 59 million. We'll do about 46 million shares. So also the Qs, they're going to be going after this at 314.50. And, you know, we'll see how it shakes out, man. See what get any juice going uh, to the top side. Gold. Gold, same type of setup. What gold did out here today, pretty cool. What you have? Come on, baby. There she is. Okay, so what gold did is this. Get the volume here for us. There we go. So what you had with gold, gold got down to 1838 today. You're coming into 150,000 contracts. You did once, you've done 111,000. It's not going to have it. A rejected lower price at lower volume. Now gold's also going to make that run for that uh, 1878 mark. And King Dollar, this is you want to keep your eye on because it looks like it, it's really intriguing. It, you know, markets always change. That's the bottom line. But what seems to happen now is that if the dollar gives up at all, the, the market itself seems to get a little juice in it. And this is a. Uh, this looks to me like an ABC down setup. You know, it failed on price today at 102.730. We hit 102.839 and then basically gave it up. So if it's an ABC down, we're going to be down like at the 99 area inside of that market. Now let me show you something with Target. So this gets really interesting. If Target had got a little bit lower, folks, okay? The bottom line, it would have been a test of its high volume low. It didn't get there. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't get into Target, man. But the bottom line is that what you can see is that Target came down hard the first time they came out with the numbers. 145.51's the number. Well, it hit 147.15 today. It's not good enough. That's the bottom line if, you, if you're taking a look at it. That to me is just not good enough. It, when you get a test, you, you want to test with lighter volume and a rejection of lower price. That's, that's what you're looking for. And, you know, bottom line, we didn't get that yet. But what Target does not have is it does not have a high volume high. And that's a huge deal. Now, let's get over to the OIH, because this is the OIH is talking, walking, and squawking out here today. If it holds price, it's going to get intriguing, because what it's done is that it's come up to its highs once again. The high in the OIH is 312.58, or 312.78. Volume there was 1.1 million. We'll see whether they can get that. Right now, you're at 769,000, and we'll see whether it holds price. If it holds price, you get some action. If it doesn't hold price, that's going to be a test of its high on lighter volume uh, and a give up. But guess what? Right now, it's up 876. If you go over to Exxon Mobil, you're going to see the Exxon, Chevron, they got some real juice behind them. You know, they're doing a leg up. You got Exxon up $4.17. Um, you're at $103. CVX. You take a look at Chevron. Chevron's up 347. That's peeking its head out. So that last high was that's 180 96. We hit 180.53. Yeah, we'll see whether it can basically hold it. You do have a contraction of volume there, but the bottom line is that you get some buyers in there. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is up 166. Nasdaq's up 80. S&P's up 26. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 175. We'll get the NASDAQ up 86. S&Ps are up 27. Let's get over to our man, Matt, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day, Basil has an outstanding show here, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You just hit that opening call. You hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Basil has approximately uh, 10 to 12 workshops that are out there also, so you'll really understand how the Chapman wave works and how you can ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So... What do we got here? Okay, so we're looking at the Dow. On the left side is the daily chart. In the middle is the weekly. On the right is the monthly chart. And there are a couple of patterns that have been forming over the last week. One of the, one of the patterns that I've, I've used for years and years is something that I call the stork leg formation. What happens is we identify a low, and then the market or whatever we're following, the tradable that we're following, moves up sharply, and then all of a sudden it stalls. So that's that's I call a leg to the upside. This is not nothing to do with leg with a peak A B C. Just a series of higher highs, and then it stalls. What's really important is that it then starts to go sideways, but it doesn't make a rectangle formation. It makes a decisive oval pattern and one of the reasons why I called it a stalk leg this goes back to when I used to hand chart when I, I hand charted on engineering paper and paper and pencil um, and ruler I would get these lines and I would find that these trend lines for, for some reason would come back much later on so I, I, I've always been a, a trend line follower and certain patterns and the pattern that I identified was that when the price goes higher and higher and higher, and then it soars, and then it goes sideways, not in a rectangle. There's a different connotation with a rectangle, but really within a, 
an oval pattern. It looks like a stalker, how it stands on one leg, attacks the other leg under the body. Then you get this oval body. And then what happens is there's a sudden pop to the upside, and that's the neck. Now, the neck can comprise of a very short pop to the upside, and it's usually, this is only a peak A. So the implication here is somewhat different. Usually I've already gotten to a C or even a D, and you get that pop to the upside above the oval of the um, the the pattern that I look at for the sideways pattern. And then it comes back in to the pattern, and how it treats the top of the oval is going to be very important. So it goes leg, oval body, a neck, which is often quite short, but it goes up, and then it comes back and retests the body, and that's the beak. And then after the beak, there's usually a big rally, and then you're on your own. But this pattern is somewhat different because the oval pattern is only formed at peak A, and here we are sideways, and even the last four sessions, we haven't gone above 33,272. So either there's going to be a very sharp arch to the downside, and we close under 32,500 sometime this week, or we break above and we go to 33,000. Uh, the 370s, somewhere around that area, and that would be very positive. So we've been along the Dow Diamonds um, for in different short-term and long-term positions, um, and we're still in the, in the long position. And what's really important is that the MAG, this is the daily chart, the MAGD is very strong. The stochastic is flat at 89%, and the on-balance volume, I use on-balance volume, which is the running total, if there's an up bar, you add it to the running total. If there's a down bar, you, you subtract it. Fortunately, it's all done on a computer, so it's just a single line that I have. Now, I know that you, of course, use volume, and you're going to probably be discussing it in tremendous detail on Friday when you do your all-day webinar. That should be very exciting. And this is a great week for something like that. No doubt, yeah. Yeah, so I, I use on-balance volume, and that had a, an overbought condition as it went to that peak A and has pulled back quite sharply, yet the price is held. So I'm looking at this, and overall my sense is that we are still in a rising tide in the shorter term, stretching a little bit into intermediate because the weekly chart has started a gray leg A. I, don't can't, I can't talk about the monthly chart yet. We have to wait all of June to see where it closes. Certainly a close uh, in the 30, uh, 35,000, well, sorry, 30, I think it's above last week's high, which would be, uh, yeah, 34,000, 180s would be extremely positive. I, I'm not expecting anything other than how does this break out to the upside if it does? And we'll go from there. I am impressed, and I'll talk about this in my, my uh, show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, tomorrow at 10. I'll talk about these patterns because if there is a stronger move here in the Dow daily and it goes into 33,500s by Friday of this week, then we're looking at something different. Then there's something I call the propeller shaft, which means it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make a, an equal move from the low of 30,635 to the 33,272 level, that distance, and then take it to the top. It does mean, though, that you can ex expand this higher than just the plain old stalk leg formation. So there are a number of things. All I'm doing is saying, okay, subscribers, let's see where it does. There's a break out to the upside. There's a break down to the downside. We've got our positions. Let's see where it goes. And I think that's how I have to look at it because the technicals are still the stochastic at 89% and flat for the Dow, the stochastic and the S&P. And I'll talk about this tomorrow as well in my shows for those of you new to my work. The stochastic at 87% and the MACD is strong. Yeah, yeah, as well, there's an oval pattern. So that would break out to a leg D above 4177.51 in the S&P. But the most important thing and we've been trading the queues on the long side very for very short-term uh, trades, and so far most of them have worked out very well. This is going to be very important. I want to see the queues, the index 100, trade together with the Dow. The Dow, if the, if we can get the percentage gains to match, that'll be the first time that the Dow is showing some some inner strength, and it hasn't shown that up until now, so it's really important. So overall, my bias is to the upside. Um, I haven't yet got any trigger to say, okay, now we start to look at the downside, the short side. So this is where we stand, and it's going to be very important to see where we go. Um, we're in, Actually, we're in an exciting juncture these two days, today and tomorrow. You're going to love it, man. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. 
Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters first. Hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side, second one down. Hit that baby, and you are off to the races. Yeah, this is going to be intriguing. It's going to be an intriguing summer in general. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you're right. And also yeah. very selective because not every, even when you think it's working, suddenly you get a failure. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited that Target did what it did today without the market turning down and being 500 points down in the Dow. I think that was important. I think it was uh, it, telling us that we've got to look at this market very selectively. For instance, Macy's is up, and yet Target is down. Yeah, and Macy's was up right from the get-go. Right. No doubt. No. You have a great one, safe one, Baz, and we look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Look forward to your webinar. Absolutely. Coming up Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow in the green, 195, NASDAQ up 89, S&P's up 30. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 200. NASDAQ's up 90. S&Ps are up uh, 28. Let's go to our man, Dave, in Chicago. <laughs> Dave, what's happening, man? <laughs> Hey man, if I ever need you, it's now. I'm I'm back up here again, looking uh, at the top of the mountain for for OIH and uh, wondering what you think. All right, that's why I brought it up at the beginning of the program. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is intriguing, man. I mean, I would stay right where you are right now. The reason being is that it's holding price, and if you mm -hmm. you know the beginning of the program, what I was talking about is that what we had with the broad market is that the broad market rejected lower price today with lighter volume. So mm -hmm. that's telling me that we're gonna at least try to go for the swing point of the sideways move in the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Dow Industrials, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Now, the OIH has taken out its high today. Um, you know, you're, you're at 31278. It's mm -hmm. 1.1 million. And so I suspect we're going to probably do a million, you know? And if it holds price and does a million, you're going to have a few more days up, I think. You know, and if it, if, you can get, if it gets away from this price, meaning gets higher by like uh, five or six points, if it gets to 317, 318, you can really have some action. Now, that being said, you have hung in here in a monster way. The, another way that you could do this is that what happens, so what we're talking about, folks, is this. He took heat all the way down, and the bottom line is that it came all the way back in an incredible way, okay? So now you're in a good position. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. So the real, the real question is, is that, you know, you could take half the position off, man. You, know, you take half right, the position right. off, and then all of a sudden, you're not only in a winning position, you're in a winning position, but your other position, you're a much stronger holder. That's what also ends up happening, you know? Right, right. Um, yeah, I know. I hear you. Every time I every time I ride it up and down, it kind of makes me a little stronger to hold on longer, which might be a, a mistake. <laughs> that's a mistake. <laughs> that's a, that, no, you that's know? a mistake. Listen, I've done that. That's a mistake. Because then what ends up happening, yeah. you'll end up having it for a year and a half, and three or four different times in that year and a half, you are probably up ten or twenty or thirty thousand. So, right. you know, you got to remember how you got into it, and you know, you get into it to make money. It went against you badly against you, which we've all mm -hmm. done that, man. And then all of a sudden you're into it and you get, you just got to get yourself centered right here and say, yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What am I doing right now? All right. And don't be greedy. So you, th so you think take some off the table? Huh? Yeah, I think point. you should take half it off. Don't I don't mean. know what you have, but I, I mean, because then you're going to be in a wicked strong position, which right. is really cool. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. No, I, well, yeah. I mean, if I would have gotten out the other times and got back in, I, you know, would have been even happier, but, you know, timing things is another thing, so. No, it is, and, and you know, <laughs> what you have out here, yeah, let me go look at Exxon, because Exxon's really strong out here today, but let me just look at this for a second. So, if, so Exxon, it's not gonna be an ABC up on the daily. Let's take a look at the weekly. So the weekly is just a straight line move up. Let me see what it's coming into, so. Oh, I, I see. It's coming to its highs. Okay, so, yeah, you know what I do? Yeah, I'm telling you, take some of it off. Because this is what's happening. Exxon, right, has, is doing 100% move of a move. And what that means, folks, is this. Exxon in 2014 was $104.61. It went all the way down to $30. And now it's come all the way back to that level. What I've found, when you do 100% move of a move, okay, what ends up happening is that most of the time you're going to get a decent pullback. I mean, a big pullback, not nothing, you know. That's, that's an incredible move when you think about it, that you've done a 100% move of a move. And in this particular case, we're talking about, what, seven, uh, what is it, 30, well, I, I mean, let me do this again. I'm pulling Chevron. I want to see if this is 100 so, oh, No, Chevron just a powerhouse, man. Holy cow. Well, yeah, let's do this. The move on Chevron, 131. And 70. Okay, so that's 60. Yeah, see, this is interesting too, because it's, if you do a move for move, what I'm doing here, folks, is this. So watch this. When Chevron broke out, you can do a move for move, right? Uh, so it's like the top of the consolidation was 133. I'm not going to count that one that got below this in a monster way, but I'm figuring, you know, let's say $70 up to 133, okay, so say 60 bucks, you had 60 bucks on top of 133, you're gonna get 193. Well, you've already hit 180, you know what I mean? And the, the, the not the, the, the problem that you have with the, um, the trades, it's a great trade, but what does happen, folks, is that, you know, normally with a regular equity, you can put a stop in all the way up and all the way down, but this OIH opens up or opens down, <laughs> You know, yeah. like ten to twelve points, like nothing. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, you know, so. So you even think on the major oils too? You think that's uh, another? Because I've I've been kind of loaded up in Chevron and Exxon and all those guys. So. 
Well, here, look, well, let me ask you this then. I really thought, so is this a trade or is this something like for a longer term deal? Well, uh, I, you know, I, a little, I, I hate to dance around and say maybe a little of both. I don't, I mean, I, I guess part of me knows how volatile it is. And so I think it's, it's been in kind of a longer term account, but I know I'm not, you know, okay. Is it, it, is it, is it in a taxable account or a non-taxable account? Non-taxable. Oh yeah. Then, uh, then, then yeah, man, don't worry about taking money, man. Yeah. <laughs> now, okay. do, do you have a, do you use options at all? No. Okay. No. Then, then don't worry about taking money, man. You know, you might have heard me, a guy had called, you know, about basically in a non-taxable account, you know, like where we are in the marketplace, which you should do. When you're in a non-taxable account, you have a good deal going like that. Then you got to look at and say, okay, if we go up 20% more, how do I feel? If we go down 20% more, how do I feel? Right? That's kind of... I, I, yeah. I, and, I, and I guess with OIH, I keep looking at, you know, wondering about the long term of it, you know, in terms of where it was a few years ago. Or I, I can't remember exactly when. No, it was no, like you're right. Bucks, I, listen, I can know. see that. I, I can see it. it. It's it's pretty wild when you look at it. There's no doubt what he's talking about, folks. And I was surprised myself, Dave, when I brought this up. Um, you know, this thing has, you know, been down from like uh, 1100 <laughs> Hit sixty six dollars, yeah. yeah. So I, I can see that yeah. too, man. I mean, that's the bottom line, you know. Hey, yeah. you, you know, listen, right. you, you, you took that kind of heat because the the positive, right, in the energy market right now, I would say that you could get a lot more juice in it is this dollar. So picture something, folks, that is that the the energy stocks went up this high with the dollar at all time highs. If this dollar starts backing down, and if it is an ABC structure down to that 99 area, these energy stocks won't stop. That's the bottom line. They just, you know, because commodities are based, based on U.S. dollars. You know, so that's the bull part of that whole deal. You know, e e either way right now, this is a very good looking chart. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Right. You know, so... Now look what's happening now. This is interesting. Now watch this. As we're talking, so here, let's see this for a second. Just as we're talking, man, it's not holding the high. It's not often much, but I've found, I'm telling you, when they just can't even hold it, uh, this, this, you know, this should hold 312.52, and now all of a sudden it went to 312.34. Huh. Yeah. It's not the end of the world, man. <laughs> you get okay. Thanks a lot, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks. Bye bye. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 267. NASDAQ's up 110. S&Ps are up 38. So check this out. This is going to be really intriguing watching how this whole thing shakes out because what is happening, folks, is that the citizens of this great country of ours are piling up debt and their savings is going down dramatically. So you have revolving credit. Well, first off, th th these are these are the bank numbers that just come out. Okay, so consumer borrowing. Now these are April numbers. They're, they're two months behind. Okay, bottom line: consumer borrowing in April record jump. This is the second record jump. Okay, total credit increased 38.1 billion from the prior month. Uh, the survey was for 35 billion, so that's not bad. Three billion. Okay, that that that's not a big number. What is a big number is this? So watch how this goes. This is like intense. Revolving credit, including credit cards, folks, increased 17.8 billion after a 25.6 billion the month prior to that. That is a monster one, okay? Now that includes auto loans, school loans, okay, but those are big numbers. Uh, and now on top of that, this is this is the when I when I look at that. I'm saying to myself, okay, you can start tapping out their credit cards again. And then on top of that, the savings rate is at the lowest level since 2008. Okay, now, want that cherry on the top? Listen to this one. This is sick. The most amount of credit cards that have ever been processed were processed January, February, and March of this year. 537 million credit cards, new credit cards are out there. I believe there's 330 million people in the United States, right? You get 537 million, okay, new credit cards accounts. What does that mean, folks? That means that number one, people are using credit to live. And they're probably using credit to buy stuff that they don't need, unfortunately. You get the gist of it. The bottom line is that those are not good, good numbers. That's, that's, that, that, that record of the aspect of how many credit cards were done in a quarter are huge. Because this is what ends up happening. When you're going broke, folks, the bottom line is that if you have a decent um, you know, credit, you're going to go get five, ten credit, you're going to get as many credit cards as you can, you're going to probably blow them up. That, that, anyway, you get those numbers. Those numbers are some monster numbers, folks, okay? And you, you just be careful. Freeport Mac Moran. Let's go take a look at Freeport Mac Moran for a couple of the Tigers out here. So, the low for the year is 29, the high is 51. This is traded at 43 right now. We take a look at this. It's an ABC up, and here, here's the ABC up. I'll put it on here. One second. Here we go. You take it right from the bottom. Is it here? Yeah, there it is. So your A, your A point on this is 34.34. Your B point is 
41, right? So what is that? Hold on one second. 33, 34, 41. So 30, let's call it six bucks. You see is uh, approximately 39, so you got 45. 45 is the A to B equals C to D. You know, you had some good juice on this yesterday too. So this will get flack, okay? Because because of the way that we came down, okay, you are you are definitely going to get some flack here. There's no doubt about it. Do you know what I mean? Like right into this area, it'll it'll build build cause cause more than likely that's exactly what it does to build cause. There's questions about the CPI came coming out on Friday. So, and what the question specifically is, if it comes out higher, what will happen? If it comes out low, what will happen? The bottom line, folks. Um, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about CPI and what it does and all that, but all as I do on a continual basis is price and volume and how they move into the market. So I have a lot of fundamental views, there's no doubt about that, but I am never going to trade on a fundamental view that if I think that the CPI is going to come out, oh, this market's going to go to the moon. I trade just like this. Yesterday, the bottom line is you had a failure on price. As you went into it, that's telling me you're going to go low. We went lower this morning, rejected it, had lower price. I've just found that to be much more consistent on a continual basis. And what happens is this. This, this is where I think we all get a heads up. This is where I got a heads up anyway. I remember when I was first in the markets, it's like you could have good news and the market goes down. You have bad news and the market goes up. It's like, hey, man, this news stuff is not where it's at, man. That's, it, and that's still my feeling. Okay, what what I do like to do is look at the price and volume, have an understanding of what the fundamentals are of the equities, and you know go from there. You know, and kind of put that together. But as to put my money it somewhere, guess what? The only way it's going to go is that if I have price and volume going with me, either up or either down. It's it's just a lot easier to do. Trust me, it's, it's a lot easier to do. And in that context, Friday. Friday, if you want to understand price and volume upside down, fibs, confluence, swing points, and that's what all the market's about. I mean, I, you know, you're going to see, and many of you know what the time of the trade is, I do the same thing over and over and over again, and that's it. And it's very simple, actually. It's, and that's what I actually love about it. Because you'll get to the point that you can look at a chart and in 30 seconds really understand, okay, where does that want to go? Now, granted, there's plenty of times, and we just went through two years that you just kept going up with no volume. But I'll tell you this, already you've seen in two years, you go back to the last time you had volume in approximately three months, okay? And I remember the first time this happened in 2000, you know, people you know, would say, I don't blame them, you know, hey, you can go higher, higher, there's no doubt, but guess what? I've also found out people never can get out because it comes down so fast. So even in longer term deals, what you're, you're, what you're looking for, like what I'm looking for right now in this downdraft is all equities that had a high volume high, a good volume at the highs. Then you're looking as this is pulling back. Has this pulled back into strength? If it pulls back into strength and pulls back into where it took off from, that's a great setup, man. Doesn't mean that you'll get your money right away, but that's a great setup. You go higher, you have volume. It got sucked in with everything else. It comes into a breakout area, has lighter volume, rejects lower price, guess what? Higher you go. Dow right now up 280, NASDAQ's up 119, S&Ps are up uh, 41. Let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials and see what the strength is inside the Dow Industrials out here. You have uh, United Health putting 38 points, Chevron, I mean, uh, Salesforce putting 30, Microsoft 26, Chevron 22, taken away from it. You have uh, Home Depot minus 12, Walmart minus 10. No action uh, on that one at all, meaning on the way down. We take a look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here today. Strength, Pendor do up 10.5%. You got, uh, what is that, Down Dog? Oh, Data Dog, I see, Data, Data Dog up 5.5%, cross. Crowd strikes up 4.7. Taken away from it, Amazon's down 1%. That's it. You get a strong market out here today, folks. Stay right there. We'll come right back. Sharpening.
sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 270, NASDAQ's up 121, S&Ps are up uh, 41. Let's go over to Transocean, and thanks, uh, uh, Fletch, for bringing this up. So, Check this out, folks. Transocean is, you know, bottom line, ABC structure up to $5. Monster volume out here today, 43 million. You have a high volume high out here that it's 556. It's going to go after. More important, though, and this is with Dave in Chicago, too, Dave. So what's going on here is this. Transocean, I know the stock upside down. I used to trade it all the time. I'm going all the way back to, oh, my God, I, was, I thought I was going to say 68. I think uh, 78. No, 88. 88. Anyway. So what this is all about is that Transocean, the, the bottom line is that they got an extension, okay, $181 million extension, you know, from, you know, one of their clients, okay? Um, and this extension, okay, is from October of 2023 to October to this April of 2025. What happens, folks, is that Transocean is a deep, well, harsh, environmental type of business, period. Their rigs go for a fortune, though. And bottom line is that when you get an extension, and we're talking about an extension that doesn't even start until 2023 and goes to 2025, that is an indication that a lot of the oil companies think that oil is going to stay at a high price. That is why you see the oil service is going to, through the roof. Okay, so the bottom line is that, yeah, it's, it's a good trade. Transocean, um, you know, is a pure commodity play. There's no two ways about that. And if we bring this back, you're going to see when I talk about 
you know, the aspect of how high and how low they can go, well, especially Transocean, because you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars a day. So you can see Transocean is down from a price point of, uh, yeah, $163. It's still only at four bucks. Guess what? It's not gonna stay at $4 and $5. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't forget about my seminar on Friday. You want to understand price, volume, Fibonacci, confluence? Check it out, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Wow! Look at him, folks. Building wealth.